Hello everyone, it's getting time for the next update to come out within the next couple weeks. I thank you all for being so patient throughout all the things that have been going on uh, lately. Obviously, I've been uh, putting in an incredulous amount of extra hours and overtime at my various jobs due to the whole COVID scenario. And uh, we're going to go over a couple things that are going on in the next update. We're going to go into modules, install extra modules. And one thing that I uh, did several updates ago was add artwork for everything. I mean, you can see artwork in here. But I wanted to take this to the next level. I mean, uh, one of my favorite uh, arcade emulations ever was Daphne with games like Dragon Slayer. And when you click the Daphne in the next update, you're going to get a nice little animated uh, thing. Like a GIF, should we say. GIF, GIF, however you want to say it. Tomato, tomato. But very, very cool. I mean, I'm going to try to do this for as many chords as I possibly can. So we have this nice animation for Daphne there, which is awesome. I mean, that's not the true Daphne animation, but it's the only thing I could find that pretty much suited Dragon Slayer. But uh, let's go down here to uh, a new tab. And we will have a KMFD Supercharge uh, tab. And many of the things in this uh, tab are going to be running games at an exponential 45% better performance and speed than ever before. We're going to do the SNES Fox Extreme one right here. And this is uh, this is not a real, real game fatality, but it is an ingenious mock-up of a Super Nintendo uh, speedality, which would be a fartality, so to speak. And then we're going to do the PCSX Rearmed HD Extreme, which is going to be run like uh, so many more games better than ever before. I mean, you're going to be able to run like 99.5% of the games in HD on the... Mega Drive SNES NES Classics, which was not even remotely possible before. I mean, you could run just a few games this way, but you're going to be able to run almost all of them. And we have, like, Test Drive in HD, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And Test Drive and Road Rash were two of the greatest games on 3DO, but they're also on PlayStation 1. Then, of course, we're going to have the 184 Extreme, which is going to be even more uh, turbocharged to the proportions of superchargement here. And scroll down, and do you know what this is from? What movie is this from? I've talked about it all the time. Take a guess. And then, of course, we're going to have one eight, uh, 198 Extreme Supercharged. Okay? Again, same thing for that. But uh, you can go back to the normal retro. You'll have, like, the 198 Extreme Ozone. And you have the 198 Extreme RGUI, which is a more simple interface, but it loads a little bit faster as far as games are concerned. But you can try Supercharged. You can try the normal one. And then let's go to, like, the open bore. I have a nifty animation for that as well. And uh, thanks to all the people who've ever put efforts in two new needs animated GIFs. And if any of you guys and gals are interested in, like, some particular favorite GIFs of your own, I mean, feel free to suggest or link them to me. And I will see what I can do as far as getting them into these cores. But we have open bore right here. And, again, these are many of the changes for Mega Drive SNES. And it's classics, you're going to have that 45% better performance and speed. And there are going to be 60 plus chords updated. And yes, for the PlayStation Classic, you're going to have uh, drastically improved MAME 2003 Extreme, where you could run like Killer Instinct Arcade, Cruising World Arcade. You're going to be able to run these, of course, on the Mega Drive SNES and NES Classics as well. Just not to the pedigree of the PlayStation Classic, but fairly, fairly close enough to be enjoyable. And then on top of that, we're also going to have an updated Saturn Core, which is going to have better compatibility. So we have a choice between, uh, between going between compatibility and, of course, uh, the performance. I mean, you have the better performance or accuracy, uh, whichever way you so choose. You'll see what I mean when you do the next injector update. And now we're going to boot up to the actual uh, uh, Mega Drive Mini right now to show you how the new RetroArch looks for a moment before we end this video. But thanks for uh, watching so far. And Okay, everyone, right now we're on 198 RetroArch with the MAME 2003 Stream Supercharged Work in Progress update. We're going to do some incredible stuff today. I mean, you've seen Cruising USA World and how they ran it in previous updates, and don't even attempt to run it now on any of your mini classics because it will run terribly. But we're going to get it running better right now. Let's go into the uh, main menu right now, which is on R2 with MAME 2003 Stream. We're going to go to Input for this game. Uh, make sure I actually push the right button, open it. Uh, we're going to go to the enter here, and I'm going to temporarily reprogram it to my L1 button. Bam. Then we're going to go down to volume up. I'm not worried about volume down for now. I just want volume up. I'm going to program it to my triangle button. And yes, I'm using my PlayStation Classic controller on my Mega Drive Mini, which works great. Uh, now we're going to go down to pedal 1, which I'm going to reprogram to be my circle button on my controller. Bam. Again, I programmed the enter to be L1. I programmed the volume up to be uh, my triangle button and my uh, acceleration to be my A button. So we're going to go to return to main menu and uh, return to menu again. And then it says right there, calibrate controls. I need to take my hands and feet off the controls. Yes, I'm using my feet entirely to do this calibration, right? Just like in a real arcade. But anyway, I took my foot off the controllers 
and I'm gonna basically uh, have the steering wheel set to the center, which means don't touch your controller at all, and then simply tap the L1 button once, whichever button you have for the enter button on your controller. Bam. Now we're gonna calibrate the wheel for how far uh, ratio-wise we could steer to the left or right. You might want to go between two and three seconds, uh, whatever works for you. I'm gonna do it about close to three seconds. So one, two, three, L1. Then uh, to the right, one, two, three, L1. And then I need to hold down the button I programmed or calibrated for my uh, acceleration button, which would be my circle button. Three, two, one, L1. And there we go. And now we're going to be in the game here. And of course, with many Midway games, you have volume issues, which we're going to basically fix because I programmed the volume up to be on my uh, triangle button. You can do it on any of these Midway games. Just simply program it. And I'll show you tutorials for any of this if you so choose have issues with these. Of course, you can run them on Plus or Extreme Amp as well, but this core right here is specifically geared for better performance and speed. That is the biggest, biggest thing. So, uh, if you want accuracy, you're going to get a go elsewhere. But, uh, we're in the game right now. And let's see what track we're going to pick here. Uh, we'll go to... Let's try, uh, Germany right now. Uh, we'll do Germany. And then, uh, notice that the game is running better than it did before, but still not good enough. Let's see what I mean when I get into the track here. And I did watch the Suicide Squad movie on HBO Max. I mean, awesome, awesome movie. Uh, it definitely has James Gunn style written all over, just like the original Guardians of the Galaxy, just with a whole heap and helping of blood and mayhem and violence and gore. But it's going to be interesting to see what some of you guys and gals think, because it was such a fun, fun movie for what it was. I mean, even the entire the middle of the night, I and myself uh, and my wife watched the entirety of the movie. Right here, we're going to increase the volume. Bam, 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 by using the triangle button. And then we're going to accelerate. I didn't accelerate yet, but see how slow it is? This is actually uh, way, way faster than it runs currently in the current updates. But we're going to make it run better. We're going to do something uh, called Smart Frame Skipping, which is only going to work with this update. You can't use this in any previous update. It will not work whatsoever. So we can go to Options here. And uh, <laughs> I meant to go to Options, sorry. Uh, this is going to be retooled as uh, basically Turbo Boost and Overclock because that's essentially what it's doing. We're going to go to Auto Max, which is going to basically be a Turbo Boost because it's not true frame skip as you would expect it to be. It actually just waits for the threshold to go below a certain point, latency-wise, and then it smart frame skips only when applicable and necessary. And right here, the CPU clock is actually reverse Turbo Boost. Right now, we're at 100% speed, which is still faster than uh, before because I have the core overclocked internally as well. But for every number we go backwards here, just watch. Uh, we're actually 15% uh, faster right now. Now we're 20% faster, but we're going to take it all the way down to 85% uh, faster. Yes, 85% faster with the latency uh, module in place as far as like uh, threshold and making for, uh, smart turbo boost, a.k.a. frame skip, coming to play. We're going to go to resume game and watch what happens as far as like the slideshow becoming a more playable experience. You ready? Three, two, one, contact. Come on, LeVar Burton. You need to be the host of Jeopardy. Uh, just don't let anybody else take your place. You need to do it, dude. Okay. But we're already on that. We're going to see if we like this or if we want to make the exponential change a little bit more. Can we hit the count like in hard driving, race driving? Make a move. Now we're going to take this up just a little bit more here. Oh, I didn't mean to get stuck in the grass. There we go. But way, way more playable than before. Awesome, awesome thought there. We can take the boost up just a little bit more. And again, if you're uh, steering this a little bit loose, just do a little bit of a uh, one second left. I did about three seconds. Let's try doing a jump here. Yeah! Okay, now let's take that uh, reverse turbo boost up just a little bit more. Uh, we'll take it up to 18. So that's uh, roughly 82% faster. There we go. So you find Whoa, <laughs> that was great. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun stuff there. Oh, I love going to the wall there. And I love how many of these games back then had these uh, draw and distance things where you see how the scenery just pops in, but then if you go around corners, they kind of distract you. Whoa, that was awesome. Then we take it up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Uh, take it up to uh, make it 24, so like 76% uh, percent faster. Again, you'll find the number that works for you on any specific game. You can do it on any game. Yes, any arcade game, period. With the update. Reverse Turbo Boost. And, of course, the reverse overclock. 